Yeah, Jedediah, just out here trying to get it, man. By any means necessary, you feel me? Yeah, let's go. 24 7 hard work and dedication. 24 7 hard work and dedication. For the hey, what's kids. going on, y'all? My name is Jedediah. This is the Jedediah podcast, and today we have a special guest in the building, the one and only. Zay Quinn Moses. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's Zay up? Quinn, man. How you feeling today, my bro? I feel great, like a champ. Yes, sir, man. Good to have you on. And congratulations on appreciate winning you. that uh qualifier. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yes, sir, man. How long has it been? Uh I think it was two months or a month ago. Okay. It was in March. It was in March. Yeah, okay. In March. We're we're uh in April finna yeah. be in May. Yeah, yeah, so sure. congrats, man. Appreciate um, it. how does it feel to be a national champion? Uh, it feel great. I mean, that's it. that's most amateurs' dreams to be a national champ. But mm-hmm. it felt good. It felt like regular when I won, though. But I feel like I want I want to win more. You want to win like, more? Yeah, I don't want to just win one. I want to win a lot more than just one. Hell yeah. So, yeah, I'm still working. How many times did you fight in this tournament? I fought four days. Four, four days? days? Yeah, four days. Four days. You fought four times yeah. at what weight? Uh, one thirty two. Okay. 132 youth. 132. Um, which fight was the toughest? Uh, it was uh, I had to, I'm gonna have to say the championship because mm-hmm. Carmel, yeah, that was my toughest fight. What's his name? Uh, Carmel Bolton. Carmel. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 And where's he from? Uh, he from oh uh, I don't know where he from, but I know he like he live and train out of Las Vegas, mm. Nevada. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Was that your first time going up against him? Yeah, that was my first time. Like fighting against him, but we sparred a couple times. Oh, prior to yeah, that, we sparred. Mm, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's that's uh, you know, in the amateurs, um, the only sad thing you you have to fight yeah, your friends. Yeah, you know, yeah, real cool dude. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. Shout out to him. Shout out to you. Uh, what's next? When's the next fight? Uh, June, June. I'm gonna be fighting in a summer festival. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just okay. turned 18 This is going to be my first tournament elite So, mm-hmm. Oh yeah, year. happy birthday yeah, I saw you. that, happy thank birthday you. man I'm going to go up there and see what elite head noise See if they You, you finna see what? See what the elite head noise Oh, the elite, yeah, the elite. Oh yeah, it's time yeah, it's 18 time. years old yeah. Yes sir, man Yes sir Okay, so where is this uh, summer of It's in Lubbock, Texas Lubbock Yeah, Lubbock Okay, and is it, is it a um, is it a tournament or yeah, is it's it a tournament? Okay, okay, it's okay. It's another nationals. You're gonna fight at 132. Yeah, I'm fighting 132. Okay, is it tough for you to make 132? Nah, I, I, it's never been tough for me to make mm-hmm. 132. But even if it was tough, tough, I say the first day would be the toughest day. Other than that, then nah, it just come off easy. Mm, okay, easy. that's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, yeah, because I remember when I was boxing, we had to make weight. Man, we would do. Spitting cups. Yeah, I ain't never had to do you that know. yet, though. I ain't never had to go through <laughs> that's, that yet. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. And your body's still still going yeah, still and everything. still going, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, what are your goals for 2023? Uh, my goals is to win this Nationals that's coming up and win in December. Win these two. I'm focused on these two Nationals that's coming up. Mm-hmm. Bring home two goals. And get that belt in December, and that's that's my goal for twenty twenty three this year. Okay, okay, okay. And there's so there's one you're in the summer yeah, in summer, Lubbock. Yeah, Lubbock. That's number one on your yeah. list. And then after that, you're saying there's one in December. December yeah, but okay. I think they have another one in September. I don't know for sure, but I think they have a, a final qualifier. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go up to one thirty nine and fighting that in the league. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay, one thirty nine in December or no, nah, no, nah, in September. In September, yeah, September, yeah. Why one thirty nine? Uh, I think cause you could uh you make the team. That's like a Olympic Olympic week. So okay, yeah, one thirty two not an Olympic week, so you can't really make the team one thirty two. Oh, so you got to go up. Yeah, go up. Mm. Or go down. So I'm gonna just go up. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. You'll be in there with 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 some guys that hit a little harder. Yeah, tough dudes, but I sparred the best, so. Yeah, <laughs> and that you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're gonna talk about that. Um, okay. Um, do you like? Do you plan on uh, fighting in the Olympics uh, one day, or or do you want to go pro pretty soon? Uh, I was well. What I'm gonna see with this year, with this year, hand on, see if I could go to the 2024 Olympics. Mm-hmm. 
If not, I was talking with my uh, my brother Emmanuel Chance about going to the twenty twenty eight Olympics. Mm. So we've been talking about it, but I don't I don't really know yet. But yeah, that's a whole really, four years. Yeah, the whole four years. That's we don't know what 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 we gonna be doing. But uh, mm-hmm. as of right now, I'm focused on one of these nationals, mm-hmm. and I'm focused on being great, getting better at day type. Okay. Do you have any smokers coming up? Uh, you know, in between these between, tournaments, like, sm- like smokers, Monday. like uh, yeah, like you know how they hate, like local events and shit. Oh yeah, I think I'm be fighting what May twenty six, twenty seven. Mm-hmm. I, I got a one day show coming up yeah. here in Houston. Yeah, Houston, Houston. Bad, bad. Yeah, yeah. I wanna, I wanna come out and see. I haven't seen you live yet, so yeah, yeah. gotta on the come show out. Time, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Um. Uh, have you ever stopped somebody in the ring before? Yeah, uh, I stopped somebody. I stopped somebody uh, at a one day show at J Prince, and okay. then I stopped somebody at Nationals my first day. Twice. Yeah, and, and at and at Nationals. Yeah, I stopped somebody my first day. Okay, talk about the one at J Prince. Which which round did you stop him in? Uh, uh, I think it was the first round. I stopped him in the first round. I think. Mm. First round. He Got him was, out of there. He, yeah, he came out through like two jabs at me. I was like, yeah. It's over. <laughs> I'm about to stop him. <laughs> and uh, Nationals, Nationals, uh, I stopped him the second round. But the first round, they gave me an A count. Like, it wasn't like, <laughs> yeah, it was a little funny A count. So, like, I got. They gave you an A count? Yeah, they gave me an A count. Oh, hell but nah. I still went around. Like, I still, all judges gave me a round. Mm-hmm. But I was still mad. I had an A count. I came out the next round and stopped him. Said, hell no. Nah. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't going. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Is it a is it good to go into a fight looking for the knockout? Nah, nah. I don't think it's. I don't think it's. Nah, I wouldn't tell let anybody mm-hmm. or give anybody av- advice to do that. I think you should just go out, box, be smart, hit and not get hit, and mm-hmm. if the stoppage come, that's when you go for the stoppage. Yeah, yeah. I know. I, I remember uh, watching Teofimo and and uh, Cambosis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was trying. Yeah. Got hit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He was trying to knock him out and got caught. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but there's like, there's, and I, I hate it, but like there's pressure on fighters nowadays to, to, to go for the knockouts. Yeah, yeah. You know, and and uh, I guess you just got to go about it smart, yeah, you know. right. Don't just be reckless with it. Yeah, because those, those people that won knockouts, they probably never boxed before, so they don't know what it's like. Or you might have fans that just, they don't really know. Like most people don't know what it's like to, Get inside the ring and actually like knock somebody out. So they Big just facts. yeah. What did uh Floyd Mayweather's uh uncle say, Roger? Most people don't know shit about My, boxing. Yeah, I love yeah. that line, bro. Yeah, I yeah. love that line. R. I. P. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So Zay Quinn, how do you prepare yourself mentally before a fight? Uh, mentally, uh, well now I'm gonna say this. Mentally, I just sit in a room by myself. Well, not by myself. Like I sit in a room, listen to music and. My big my big brother or my big cousin Shakur, he gave me like this book. Like I read I read a page of it every like not every day, but every day before I fight, I read one page, at least get one page and it's mm-hmm. it helped me with my mental. What's that what what's the book called? Uh, I think the Mind Gems or something like that. The mind? Yeah, mind mind gem. Some something like that, but mm-hmm. I read it mostly. I read a page. What is it about? It's about your mindset it's about uh it gives you certain examples about basically about how you use your brain type mm. like, it gives you examples like say 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 you, you could basically speak something into existence like mm-hmm. you know how you're gonna do something you be like i'm gonna do it mm-hmm. like you, you i'm gonna do it, i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do this and if you keep like you keep saying it you know, they say words, what you uh, speak like out come manifestation? true. Yeah, what you speak out come true. So that's basically what the book about, and I just read it all, all the time. And every day before I fight, I just be like, these dudes not on my level. Yeah. I keep saying it, these dudes not on my level. I've been training with I've been training with this. I've been sparring this person. These dudes not on my level, so yeah. I go in with that mindset. I put the work in yeah, already. Yeah. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Uh, do you ever get nervous before a fight? You get the butterflies. Yeah, I get butterflies, but. I feel like butterflies help you. It help you perform better. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you flip it. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I remember like when I used to box. Uh, uh, like I would get the butterflies. I would get nervous before a fight. 
Um, and uh, but at like right when like that bell rings and and those punches yeah. start, you know, the first punch, that shit, away. that shit goes away. Yeah, yeah I love that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, who's your coach? Uh, well, my grand, my head coach, my grandfather, like the top, the top top, my grandfather, Wally Moses. But the coaches that been coached me is Joe Artiga. You know him. He got the he got the girl, mm-hmm. uh, Atlantis Artiga. Ali, he got the son Joe. Mm-hmm. Me, yeah, Joe, Joe, Joe's, Jay. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know they both national champs. Shout out to them. And I got Ray Diesel. Ray Diesel. Ray Diesel. Ray Diesel. Ray the one that was uh, playing basketball in the ring. <laughs> Is that him? <laughs> nah. No, that's somebody else. I'm nah. thinking about somebody else. Uh, Ray. Ray. You talking about to Ray? Yeah, talking to Ray. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Ray. Yeah, shout out to Ray. That's right. That's right. who's playing basketball in the in the ring. Uh uh uh, Ray Savage. Ramon. Ray Savage. Yeah, I'm, Ray I'm Savage. Repping, his, repping his merch right now. Huh? Yeah, shout out to Ray. Ron, Ron that's the, yeah, I was yeah, mixed up. Ray. Yeah. Shout what's out to Ray. that's his that's his his uh, deal right there? Savage. Yeah. Okay. That okay. Way. That's what's up. Um, how do you celebrate your wins? Uh, I never really like like had a real celebration like, mm-hmm. but I just chill with my family. Come back and we just talk about, like, mm-hmm. talk about what happened. Like, that's that's the most important part that I love. Mm. Come back and they know that you come home a national champ, and they all proud of you. Yeah, I love that right there. It's a good that's feeling. How, yeah, I celebrate. How do you deal with your losses? Uh, I get right back in the gym. I might take. I ain't gonna say I take days off, but I sit back and think about it. Mm. And I sit back like I don't like losing. Like the last two nationals I went to, I lost first day. And I ain't really, I wasn't feeling that. Like that, mm-hmm. that, that was one of my worst moments in life. Like I wasn't like, I would you like say it. you were at your lowest? Yeah, one of, like I ain't really like it. Like mm-hmm. then after that, it just shoot. I've been in a day working hard. Every day I'm working. I'm doing some I'm running. I'm doing everything to prevent that feeling. Will prevent me feeling like that again. Everything times yeah, ten. Yeah. Mm, okay, I like that. I like that. All right. Uh, Zay Quinn, give me your top five favorite boxers of all time. Let's hear it. Uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, Shakur Stevenson. He top, he top one. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say Floyd. I'm gonna say uh, Sugar Ray. I'm gonna say Sweet Pea. And shoot, my fifth. I don't know who my fifth is. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I don't know who my fifth is. Mm. Uh, I got two. It's two Floyds. You got pretty. You got pretty boy Floyd. Mm, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm a pretty boy Floyd. Pretty boy Floyd. Yeah, pretty boy. And then uh, money, 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 money. May? Yeah, money gonna be. I'm gonna pay him last. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. He he was uh he was he would play the villain. Yeah. I don't know yeah. if that was intentional, <laughs> but that's that's how that's how people viewed him. Yeah, uh, as, all, in, as pretty boy. Yeah, they all want him to lose, and he shut everybody up every time. Yeah, yeah, man, and uh, yeah, that's he's he's top on my list as well, Floyd. Yeah. Out of those, which one is your favorite? Like my favorite favorite, Shakur Stevenson. <laughs> I Why gotta, is I gotta say like, <laughs> you gotta I say like, it? I gotta say him. Like I don't think it's nobody else. Like it's just him. Why is he your favorite? Uh, because I that's you for me. He do so much for me. For him not to be my favorite is I don't know, and and I be trying to box. I ain't gonna say I be trying to boss like him, but people be comparing me to him. So it's uh-huh. like, shoot, that's my big brother, and I love him to death. So mm-hmm. why not? That's what's up. Shout out Shakur. Who's your favorite female boxer? Called Clarissa Shields. Clarissa Shields. Yeah, yeah, she a dog. She a dog. Now who I saw her. I saw her. I just saw her recently. Uh, in the locker room with Shakur. Oh, you, you yeah, met her? Yeah, she 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 big. I ain't know she was that like she. What you mean she? Oh, like she's yeah. she's like in size. Yeah, yeah. I ain't know she was like that, but until I seen her in person, I was like, oh, okay. It's cool. It's a shield. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah! Now, who would you say is the is is the baddest female boxer? Like the prettiest? Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh! It's not. I ain't gonna lie. It's not too much of like the baddest, but I'm gonna say. Uh, I forgot her name. She just be uh. She she a little strong though. She got a lot of muscles. <laughs> so, she got a lot of muscles. Yeah, she just beat Michaela. Oh, uh, Alicia, Alicia. Yeah, Alicia. Yeah, yeah. She, she she fire. Yeah, nah, yeah she bad. She, she fire. Okay, okay. Now back to Shakur. Um, you two are related, correct? Yeah, yeah that's my big cousin. He 
He's your big, your first cousin? Yeah, my first cousin. Okay. Okay. On your dad or your mom's side? My dad. Okay. Okay. On your dad's side. Yeah. Okay. So, um, what did you think about his last fight? Uh, I think he looked sharp. He mm-hmm. looked super sharp. He felt like he made a statement. You know, everybody was saying he had power. He had this. He had that. But he showed, I feel like he showed everything that night. Mm. Yeah. yeah. What was it? Like a seven, seventh yeah, round? seventh round. He dropped. I know he yeah. dropped him in the second, uh, yeah. and then he finished him in the seventh. Yeah, he was. He looked real sharp, and that was a that was a solid dude for real. Like mm-hmm. he was a real solid dude. He from stopped. Japan. Yeah, he stopped. What's his name? Who he stopped? He gave Tia female problems. For real? Yeah. He didn't stop the dude. He stopped. He gave Tia female problems. It's a tall agent, and, mm-hmm. he, and he gave a uh, Tia female problem. That that uh dude that Shakur for he stopped him so. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so he wasn't no no bum. Nah, he wasn't. He mm-hmm. wasn't no bum at all. Shakur just made him, and he made him look. Yeah. He made him look like he a look like a bum. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Who would you like to see Shakur fight next? Uh, Devin. See him fight Devin, and once he fight Devin, I want to see him fight Tank. Oh, yeah. Okay, I want to see him fight Tank. Okay, yeah. Devin. Those those are the fights that uh those three right there. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but first, Haney's got to beat. Loma. Loma. That's mm-hmm. tough. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's no... Yeah, that's yeah. going to be tough. That's yeah. Be tough. He, so, do you have Haney over Loma? Yeah, I got Loma? Haney. Yeah, I think, I think Haney too big. I think he going to box around Lomachenko all day. But if he end up stopping Lomachenko, mm-hmm. that's going to be a big statement right there if he stops yeah. Lomachenko. But yeah. I, don't think, I don't think Lomachenko going for that, though. So, mm-hmm. he going to have to, like... He going to have to really... You know, his A game against Lomachenko. How old is Lomachenko? Oh, I don't know. I know he he up there. <laughs> he, a little, he a little bit up there. But yeah, late 30s yeah, probably. Yeah, he a dog. Mm-hmm. He for sure a dog. Have you, have you ever sparred Shakur before? Yeah, I spar Shakur all the time. Talk yeah, to that's, me. That's one of the per- people that I spar like all the time. It'd be, it'd be times when it's just me and him in the gym, we just sparring. It's just us or, or – uh, I'd be home playing the game, mm-hmm. and we'd be talking, and he'd just be like, "Try to go spar." <laughs> See, yeah, <come> on. <laughs> For real, <laughs> yeah, yeah, come on. Or he, or he, I'd be in my bed laying down. He'd call me, a text me, be like, "You trying to go spar?" Said, yeah, come on. I'd be like, "Nah, you got <laughs> it, bro." <laughs> yeah, you, you can't turn that down. You know, yeah, no, for real, yeah. Everybody don't have the opportunity like I got. Mm-hmm. So everybody probably that's their dream to get in there with your call. So mm-hmm. I'm gonna take advantage of that every time. Yeah, you can't take that for yeah. granted, bro. Yeah, that's, that's, that that's, that's what's up. Okay, what is it like fighting Shakur? Uh, he He's super hard to hit. Like, he's mm-hmm. one of them people that's like super hard to hit. And you got him a few times yeah, though, right? Yeah, I, a couple times. A couple, <laughs> couple times. <laughs> But every time I got him, he made sure he got his. Right <laughs> he made back. sure he yeah. got it back. He made sure he or it, or it probably be like the last round. I probably get like say I throw like a five piece. I probably get like one off, two off, mm-hmm. and if he don't like it, he'll be like one more. Mm, <laughs> okay, one more. I'd be like ah. <laughs> <laughs> What's the weight difference between you two? Uh, he ain't that much bigger than me. Mm-hmm. He, he don't he don't walk around like super heavy. People probably think he walk around like, but nah, he don't. He he stay in shape. He stay on his A game. He eat good. He drink a lot of water. So mm-hmm. what's uh what really what did he fight at? Uh, against the his last fight. What what did he fight at? One thirty. One thirty five. One thirty five. Oh, so you guys, yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, so you really can't say like, man, pick on someone your own size. Nah, I can't say that because <laughs> <laughs> we right there. Sometimes I be, sometimes I be looking like, yo, I look a little bigger than Cole. Mm-hmm. But shoot, <laughs> nah, yeah. that's some good work though. Yeah. Okay. Um, what's the best advice Shakur ever gave you? Oh, uh, the best advice. Uh, we was in a car one day. And he was just talking to me. He told me, if I won, like, if if I won a box, make sure I do a hundred and ten percent. Don't just don't just do it just cause he doing it, or don't just do it cause you see everybody else doing it. Do it cause you love it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's that's one that's, that stuck with me. Mm. Yeah, that stuck with me. Do it cause you love it. Just do it cause you want to do it cause you want to do it and do it and don't let nobody believe. They could do it more than you believe in yourself. Mm. Yeah. That's, that's what's that's up. Still with me. That's solid. Hell yeah. Okay. Um, now, I want to get into your story a little bit. 
Um, you know, for people who who, who don't know you, uh, where are you from? Well, I'm from Newark, New Jersey. Newark, New Jersey. Yeah, Newark, New Jersey. Okay, okay. You stay in Houston now, though, yeah, I right? Stay in Houston now, in Houston, Texas. What What was it like for you growing up in Newark? Uh, it was it was tough. Uh, it was super tough. I ain't really. I ain't gonna say I ain't had nobody to like look out for me or do anything because my grandparents they was always there. Mm-hmm. Like if I had a roof over my if I needed a roof over my head it was always my grandparents' house. But everything was just like typical struggle. Like sometimes you don't you probably won't eat. Sometimes you know you you looking for my father used to be outside a lot too. So mm-hmm. I'd be looking for my father. My father won't be in the crib. And when I wasn't with my uh, grandmother. I used to live in a one bedroom house. It was like four or five of us in the one bedroom. Yeah, one bedroom house. So it was just it was real tough. I'm the oldest of ten kids now. Oh wow! Yeah, I'm the oldest of ten kids, and shoot, I feel like I got a lot of pressure on my back. But mm-hmm. it is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah, yeah. Wow, ten kids. Yeah, yeah. There's um, Shakur came from a pretty big family yeah, too, he got right? A big family. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, when you when you think about your childhood, your upbringing, which memories stand out to you the most? Uh, I ain't gonna lie. I don't really be trying, like, I don't really be, like, trying to think about sometimes. Sometimes I don't be trying to think about, like, the struggle or any of that because I know I still got siblings. I still got a lot of siblings. My dad, my mom, they all still there. And I'm in Houston, so I just think about them all the time. And I think about when I'm training anything, and I need, like, uh, extra motivation. I think about my parents. I think about my siblings. Mm-hmm. And they still call me. To this to this day, they call me, and, and they be asking me, like, my little brother, he be asking me for, like, a couple of dollars and stuff like that, and mm-hmm. I send it to him. Mm, okay. Do they do any of your siblings uh, box? No, nah, no, nah, they, don't, they don't box. My little brother, he's played football. Mm-hmm. And that's just my little brother. Most of my siblings, like, they real young. Like, they babies. Mm-hmm. So it's like they can't really do nothing. My other little brother, Takai, Takai Jordan, he box. He be trying. Uh, my other little, babe, little brother, uh, Do Baby. Mm-hmm. Do Baby? Yeah, Do Baby Movies. That's his nickname. Nickname. Baby. Right, right, right. His real name is Ayan. Mm-hmm. So he be trying to box. But I be trying, I just be trying to show them away. Like, when I go back to Jersey, I sometimes I'm like, I show them how hard they got train and stuff like that. I make sure they're in the gym with me. Mm. And I just tell them I love them. Yeah. Y'all, y'all going to be straight. Yeah. I'm going to make sure they straight. Yeah, yeah. You're going to have them all uh, ringside. Yeah, I'm going to make you know? sure they straight. That's my goal. Okay, okay. Did you grow up with both of your parents? Yeah, I grew up with both of my parents until I was seven. Mm-hmm. My mom moved to uh, Virginia. And it was just me and my dad. And luckily, thank God, uh, I had a stepmother. My stepmother came into my life. Stepmother. Yeah, and she she took care of me like I was her own son, like I was her first. Uh, her name Tanaya Jordan. I mm-hmm. love her to death, and uh, I appreciate her. Okay, yeah. okay. Do you uh like your real mother? Do you do you guys do you two still stay in contact? Yes, my real mother. That's <laughs> that's my diamond right there. I love her. Hell yeah. She she she. Well, I feel like she one of a kind. And I love her to death. I call my mother every day. I talk to my mom every day. And mm-hmm. uh, hopefully this summer I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go spend time with her. Okay. Okay. Uh, do, now that you're living in Houston, how often do you, like, do you visit them in, in New York? Uh, I go every summer. Like, I go every summer. And then once you call fight, you know, he been finding nooks. Yeah, yeah I've seen been that. Nooks, so I got time to go up there and see all my family and everything. So, yeah, that's that's the best part about it when you fight in New mm-hmm. You get to see all his last family. two fights been yeah, out there, right? His last two fights. So, yeah, uh, I've been yeah. up there. Uh huh. Yeah. That's what's up. Okay. Um, how old were you when you first started boxing? I was three. I was three when I first started boxing. Three years old. Yeah, I was three. I was three. <laughs> when I first started like learning, I was three. Yeah. But like seven, eight, six, I've been like I was sparring. Yeah, that's I, when you started. I started sparring. Yeah. And then I was 10. One, no, nah, I think I was 11 or 12. I took two years off. That, that that just, I started playing football. I got a little big. I got, like, chubby. I got fat. And then once I came back, uh, I think 
Shakur, that's when I, uh, Shakur took me in. Like, mm-hmm. She was like, yo, used to be bad nights because we used to be boxing with each other since, like, babies, since kids. Oh, so it was way before. Yeah, this, oh, okay, okay. What is, we used to be boxing in the living room. He used to get on his knees and spar me. <laughs> he, used to, he used to take me to the gym with him. It was time, it was just me and him in the house. He used to take care of me, like, yeah. I was one of his, like, <laughs> he used to really, like, take care of me, so I appreciate him for that. But, yeah. But I was 14 when I came back. I was chubby, and then <laughs> I just started working. Like, boxing was, like, that was all I around. That was all I was around. So, boxing was like shit. Mm-hmm. It's shit right here. This okay. And then and then like a year a year into coming back, I was stamped it like yeah, that's what I'm doing. Like mm-hmm. I'm just stamped it like yeah, that's what I love. That's that's when you just made the decision yeah. that this is okay. I'm gonna yeah, do this I career cut, for the career. Yeah, I cut everything off. Football, basketball, I cut everything off, and I was like, this is what I'm gonna do. All right, man. A lot of a lot of good fights coming up. Um, and oh, 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 Tank and Ryan. That yeah. was just last last weekend. Yeah, yeah. What were your thoughts on the fight? Uh, it was a good fight. I feel like uh, Ryan he was trying to, like do too much. Mm-hmm. Like he, instead of just sitting back and boxing, he don't know how to use his range. He way taller than Tank. Yeah, he way taller than Tank. He don't know how to use his range. He ain't know how to box or nothing. And Tank took advantage advantage of that. Uh, Tank. So that dude wasn't on his level. Exposed him. Yeah, exposed him tight. And we all saw that. But Tank did everything he was supposed to do. He, I don't think he surprised anybody. Is that what, so So you expected that? Yeah, I expected that. But mm. What did you think about the rehydration clause? I mean, Ryan signed up for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he signed <laughs> up for it. So that's his fault. Yeah. He didn't have to do it. He chose to do it. Yeah. That's why it's like, on one hand, I, I give credit for to Ryan for, for, you know, doing what he had to do yeah. to make the fight happen. Yeah. But on the other hand, it's like, the dude, the kid's only 24 years old. You look at his resume. Yeah, he's fought Luke Campbell. But, you know, when you look at it's nothing in comparison to, to Tank's resume. Yeah. You know, I feel like he should have waited a few years, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and um, as far as the rehydration clause, like, I think, even without it, I think the outcome would have still been the same, similar. Yeah, you know. Um, do you think? Because there's a lot of people online calling Ryan a quitter, and they're saying that he could have got up and kept fighting, mm. right? How do you feel about the the body shot? And like, do you like? How do you feel about you know? Do you think he could have got up and, and kept going? Uh, I think it was a good shot, but about him getting up and what them people were saying, they ain't never been really hit. In a body like that before Yeah So they don't know What a body shot feel like But I ain't gonna Call Ryan a quitter Cause I ain't been Hitting the body mm-hmm. <laughs> Like that So I wouldn't Really know What it feel like You know They say You know They say The body Body shots Like It sucks Yeah like Takes your air out dude Yeah So we don't really know If he could If he could've got up Or not So Yeah I ain't gonna Sit here and bash him Right Right And I don't like like yeah he had his moment in the second round, you know when he turned when he turned it up he just yeah, got greedy he got super greedy yep. that's what I was saying he should have stayed calm he should have made it boring mm. like he should have made it super boring like I heard I heard I heard him say like he I heard him say he got bored in one mm-hmm. of his interviews I heard him say that so that's why he started doing that oh he got bored that's yeah, he why got, he started yeah he got bored he just started going but shoot. Mm-hmm. Against Tank, you know he he hit hard and all that. So mm-hmm. keep it basic, keep it boxing, and make it boring. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You yeah, might not like it, but you the dub is. You a might dub. get some booze, <laughs> you know. But like, yeah, yeah, dub is a dub. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, who who would you like to see Tank fight next? Uh, Shakur, Shakur, <laughs> Shakur. I want to see. I want to see all these top dudes. I want to see them fight Shakur. Now, real quick, Tank versus Shakur. How do you see that fight playing out? Uh, I see Shakur outboxing him all twelve rounds. Mm-hmm. I see Tank. Uh, he. I don't. We ain't never see anything or see him have mental problems or anything. But I feel like Cole going to test his test his mental problems and test his heart. He ain't never fight nobody like Shakur, and a lot of people ain't never fight nobody like Shakur. Mm-hmm. And him being in the ring with somebody he can't hit is just. Yeah, yeah. You think it might frustrate him? Yeah, it's gonna frustrate him. Mm-hmm. And then he starts making mistakes. Yeah, and Cole gonna pick up on it 
every time, literally every. How, time. how would you fight Tank? Shoot, I box him. I <laughs> like I just said, I make it boring. <laughs> the crowd might boo anything, but shoot, uh huh. I'm gonna stay sharp the whole just, time. Just box him. Yeah, box him. Box him. Turn him. Mm-hmm. Uh, I might rough him up a little bit. People forget that he can box yeah, too. He though. can box. He you can know? box. He can box. But I just feel like his levels of boxing. Oh yeah, I feel like his levels in. I, I see like, that fight playing out. Yeah, like um, Canelo versus Floyd. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, I, guess you I see that yeah. fight playing out like that. Yeah. You know, but um, that's the one, man. I think that, um, I think Tank beats Haney. We don't, we don't know if Tank could beat Haney. Okay. Because uh, Haney like the box, too, and he tall, he big, so he just can't get caught. Like, he make it boring. Okay, like, so so are I you think, saying that? I think Devin got a chance to beat Tank. Okay. Yeah, I think he got a real good chance just because mm-hmm. of his boxing skills. Like, he know, how to, he know how to shoot his jab right. He know how to stay long, so just don't get greedy like Ryan did, and he should be straight. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, because we, we've seen Haney hurt before. Yeah, we did. You know, but he, you know, he came back. Yeah, he did. He looked sharp. He, that was, I feel like that was one of his best fights to me it was because mm-hmm. he let his hands go that whole fight. And besides him getting caught, he looked real sharp. Yeah. yeah. And, and sometimes you just got to be willing to take a punch to land your shit. Yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Now, Pitbull. A lot of people want to see Pitbull and Tank in there again. Um, if they did make that rematch happen, who do you think would win that? Tank. <laughs> again? Same, same thing. Tank might stop him this time, though. Because it sounds like that's the fight they want. Yeah, like, but. I heard an interview with uh, with Calvin, yeah. and they were asking him, like, like who's next? And, and it. Say, go Pit, ahead. He say Pitbull. Like, what he fighting? Somebody he beat already. Oh. He, he beat Pitbull already, so. Well, he was, well. It sounded to it sounded to me uh, in the interview that Calvin was like, uh, "It bothers Tank that people think that um, Pitbull gave him trouble." Man, you, know, you know why they saying that. You know why they. You know why they saying that. I mean, it you should, know, it should bother him that should cool talking, <laughs> keep talking, <laughs> he keep saying his name. Why that's not bothering him? But you know, everybody got everybody got that. Yeah, oh. has because I I know Shakur fought Ryan in the amateurs. Yeah, he beat him. Yeah, he beat him. Um, did he fight? Has he fought ever fought Haney in the amateurs? No, nah, no, nah, he never fought Haney in the amateurs. What about Tank? Oh, uh, he ain't fight Tank either. Okay, but he's he's sparred Tank yeah, before, he right? Sparred Tank and he sparred Devin. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw I saw that one. He was lighting him up. Yeah. Okay, Josh Taylor versus Tio Fimo Lopez coming up. Uh, what's your prediction on that one? I think Josh stop him. <laughs> yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I think Josh stop him. His early he, or or like later. Like late. Okay. Late. I think uh, his last two performances. Well, his last performance was a little like. Mm-hmm. Hey, I don't know. It was to my Tio. Yeah, Tio. Yeah, yeah after little, the cambosis. Yeah, yeah, it, it was, wasn't all that. It was so, but Josh, he he big. Mm-hmm. I saw Josh in person. Like he like he a big one forty. Like okay. Sometimes one time I saw him standing next to Bud, and he looked bigger than Bud. You know, mm. Bud fight forty seven. I was like, "Oh, mm. this a big dude." And Tia Fimo ain't that big. <laughs> yeah, he little. I saw Tia Fimo too. And he ain't that big. So yeah, I think Tia Fimo. I think Josh, Josh can get down. Yeah, he could fight. Have you you ever seen him? Uh, him fight Regis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw him fight him. That was Josh a real good fight. Him. And then I saw uh when he won the uh for the undisputed. Oh, when he fought for the undisputed. Yeah, yeah. He's is he um because he fights at they're gonna fight at one forty right yeah one forty who's got the belts at one forty Josh I think Josh vacated like a couple of them because he couldn't fight I think he was injured or something but mm-hmm. uh Josh uh I think Regis got just got a belt at one forty right okay oh, shit I don't the know WB, I think he just got the WBC I don't know for sure but okay okay he beat uh shit, let me look that up. He be uh I forgot I forgot his name, but I think he just he just got the WBC for sure. Regis? Yeah, Regis. Okay. Look, look it up. Let me see. Boxing. Correct me if I'm wrong. So let's go down to one forty. 
junior welterweight. Okay, so w, WBO, Josh Taylor. IBF, uh, Sabrio Matias. Mm-hmm. Heard, heard of the name before. Me too. WBA, Alberto Bueyo. Right, WBC, or you just program? Yeah, yeah, you got WBC. And the Haney, uh, undisputed at, at lightweight. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, okay, okay. And then the Terrence fight. You got that one coming up too, right? Is that is that confirmed, Terrence and uh, uh, I don't know if it's like confirmed for sure, but I see a lot of like blogs and stuff talking about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I see a lot of them talk about it. Let me see if that one. Uh, see, if they got a date on that one. So you got Josh Taylor fighting June ten. Jake Paul, Jake Paul <laughs> fighting August fifth. Against Nate Diaz, <laughs> you know Nate Diaz. Yeah, I know Nate Diaz. <laughs> Jake Paul is gonna smoke him. <laughs> Jake Paul gonna smoke him. I fuck, but I fuck with Nate Diaz though. Me too. You know, Canelo's got one too. I just saw uh, Nate Diaz choke some some uh, he saw that. <laughs> <laughs> in fucking Louisiana or yeah, some shit. That just was crazy. Damn, he's a, they got him though. They arrested him. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Do you bet? No, nah, I don't bet. I don't bet. Mm-hmm. But when I do bet, shoot, it's going to be your quarantine. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. All right. Have you been keeping up with the NBA playoffs? Nah, nah, I haven't. Mm-hmm. But I've been seeing it towards your corner. They like, they like to watch and stuff, and sometimes they might turn it on in the gym. So oh, okay. I might get a quick glance of it. But, mm-hmm. but not really into it like that. <laughs> Okay, uh, if you could master any other sport, what would it be? Um, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, uh, uh, basketball. Basketball. Yeah, basketball. Okay, okay. Does Shakur does Shakur be balling, hooping? Yeah, he be hooping. He he he. I, he, I ain't gonna sit here and say he mad nice, but. <laughs> he, <I. laughs> okay, okay, okay. He's got a little game. Yeah, he got a game. Okay, so okay. What's your favorite video game? Uh, Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Xbox or PlayStation? Xbox. For sure. I had Xbox my whole life. Uh Uh-huh. Since a baby. Yeah. Xbox. (laughs) Do you play any uh, boxing games on there? Uh, Fight Night. They 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 still got Fight Night on uh, Xbox. Is it updated, like, with current boxers in there right now? Nah, but you could download them. You could, like, download them. People, like, create them. And mm-hmm. then they put them on some foul things, and you could download like the whole new Jones. So yeah. Okay. 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 Um, who's someone you really want to meet but haven't had the chance? Floyd. Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, I want to meet Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> nice. 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 Meet. I think that would be my my uh, that would be my choice as well. Yeah. I actually saw him one time. He was in the club. With his daughter in the strip club with his daughter. For real. For <laughs> crazy. I actually went to Floyd Gym. When I was going, all I was thinking about, like, yo, what if Floyd in the jail? Like, uh huh. I want to be Floyd. What if Floyd? What would you jail? tell him? Like, nah, I don't know what I'd tell him. Like, <laughs> I'd just probably be shocked. Like, yo, this really Floyd and Will- Floyd Mayweather. You know, he the, like, mm-hmm. the greatest boxer of all time if to me. He is. So, mm-hmm. I'm like, this Floyd. Okay. Okay. Uh, he's actually got a fight coming up. Yeah, he got, he's got another one. Yeah, he do. He's fighting um John Gotti, yeah, uh, yeah, son. The third. Mm-hmm. The third, yeah. Yeah, I'll I, I probably tune into that. I don't really fuck with the celebrity boxing like that, it's but I, I got to tune into that. <laughs> it's Floyd. And mm-hmm. Floyd still be doing mad nice stuff, so. Mm-hmm. Even though he old, like, he posted his sparring, like, a couple months ago, right? Okay. He was doing a lot of nice stuff. Yeah, in so fucking nice. 40, 41, 42? 40, yeah, Floyd cold. Okay, okay. Um, You can only eat one thing forever. What is it? Oh... Uh, it got to be healthy or, or it could just be anything. Anything. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say, uh, Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A? <laughs> yeah, if, if not Chick-fil-A, Popeye's. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Popeye's. What, like, what's your go-to when you, uh, when you pull up to Chick-fil-A? Uh, I just get the number one meal. Mm-hmm. Uh, make sure there's no pickles on it. Uh, give me Polynesian sauce with Chick-fil-A sauce and give me, a uh, eight count. It count. Yeah, it count. Okay, okay, That's okay, okay. Um, and f- vanilla milkshake. Don't forget the vanilla milkshake. Oh no, you can't forget yeah. the vanilla milkshake. <laughs> I like that. They got a peach type <laughs> yeah, of yeah. type of deal. I'll yeah. go hard. Okay. Uh, favorite candy. 
Uh, I don't really like eat candy as much no more. Cause when I was a kid, mm-hmm. I used to eat a lot of candy, and they had to like pull too much of my teeth out. And, Ooh, man, like, you was eating hella candy. Yeah, yeah, I had a lot of cavities, and so you know, ever since then, yeah, I haven't really been eating candy. But if I did have to pick, I say airheads. Like airheads. Yeah, I like it. What about chocolate? Do you fuck with chocolate? Yeah, Reese's. I fuck with Reese's. Okay, okay, okay. Did you see that uh, all access? Uh, uh, Tank and Ryan when Tank was in the corner store buying all that candy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw, I saw. <laughs> you think he's really eating all that shit before? I mean, we don't know. <laughs> we don't know. Just, that's yeah. how I look on the video at camera. But if he is, that's a tough dude then. Because when I'm in Campbell, I'm doing anything. I don't do all that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What's your favorite bag of chips? Uh, the purple, the purple Doritos. Purple Doritos. Yeah. Uh, um, what's it called? Bro, I hate those. <laughs> For real. I know. Yeah. <laughs> the purple bag of Doritos. They got the flame on them. Those joints. I love those joints. Those joints fire. It's my sweet, spicy chili. It's my uh, these right here. Yeah, yeah. Those, those <laughs> fire. Yeah, yeah, those fire. <laughs> I don't know how you I do love it. Those, those fire. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Um, did you. Okay, what's the last movie you watched in theater? Uh, Creed The third one? Yeah, the new John Creed Did you like it? Uh, I liked it, but it was all right. It was too, like, fake and, and it was, like, they was getting to the point too fast to me Like, mm. like building up to the fight Like, they could at least add it, like, a real press conference in it Like, real oh, way right. in it Like, make it look like a real, like Yeah, make like, it look right Yeah, so it was, <laughs> it was off to me, so Did you hear that he got knocked out one time? Um, while he was training? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I heard. But oh, they were shooting the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he really got knocked out. That's crazy. I would stop. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he loved yeah. his job. I got, I got pissed when I seen a uh, how they did Andre Ward in the first one. <laughs> yeah. Bro, I was fucking pissed. Yeah, Andre Ward, you can't be doing that. All right, young boy or little baby? Oh, uh, young boy, young boy, crazy, but little baby hard too. Yeah, he's hard. I like him. Uh, one of the songs I like about little baby. One of the songs I like. My little baby is uh real as it gets, mm. featuring ESTG. Yeah, that's that's young crazy. You like that one? Yeah, I like that. What's your favorite young boy song? Uh, I ain't gonna lie, all young boy songs fire. Yeah, <laughs> they all fire. <laughs> they all fire. Yeah, I, yeah, I heard his new album. Yeah, uh, don't first, try this at home. Yeah, at first, I ain't like it, but you know, you had to had to double back, run it back a few yeah, times. I'll be the same way. Yeah, that's your fire. I yeah. run with it. Yeah, I like that one he did with Nikki, uh, Mariah the Scientist. Yes, that's hard. Oh my gosh, she's so bad. That's hard. Is she really a scientist though? I don't. I don't, I don't no? really know. <laughs> I don't really. I don't Mariah really the know. Scientist. Okay, shit, shit. Maybe one day you can have a young boy walk you out to the ring. Hopefully. Has that's he ever he walked did. the box out? Nah, he didn't. He never did. Hmm. But shoot, when he do, I know that young will be legendary. I already know that's young boy. Yeah, everybody going that's up. That's gonna be legendary. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Straight up, Drake or Twenty One Savage? Drake. Drake. Drake hard. Have you heard that new AI Drake song? Oh uh, no, nah, I ain't heard. You been hearing? That's actually a couple. You know what I'm yeah. talking about? Like when you know how they like, like it's an AI version of Drake, but they can like do the um like they can like hey they copy in Drake's voice. Real. Yeah, I gotta listen to it. I got, I gotta look it up. I want to see it. Yeah, I yeah, bro. This AI I shit. Wanna see it. I want to see it. First celebrity crush. Uh, Nicki Minaj. <laughs> Nicki Minaj. Yeah. Or uh, Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande. Okay. 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 She fire. Okay. Do you believe in ghosts? Uh, no, nah, I don't believe in ghosts, but. I do believe in what's in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you never had any paranormal uh, experiences? Uh, nothing like that? No, nah, I never had no, I never like, okay. I don't want to experience nothing like that, but I had sleep paralysis before and shoot, that's close yeah. enough to. <laughs> <laughs> or you can't move, yeah, right? Nothing. But I you're, but you're, you're just like, like still you, awake. Yeah, like you up. Yeah, that's not crazy. Mm, okay 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 all right man um shit i think we covered damn near everything man anything any yeah, last words it. Uh, uh i want to shout out i want to shout out a couple people uh mm-hmm. i want to shout out to ray ray dude to ray stevenson i want to shout out shakur stevenson uh i want to shout out everybody that's in my gym and training with me uh jay artiga 
Atlantis Artiga. I want to shout out Coach Joe. I appreciate him. He's going to Nationals with me. Uh, we going to go out there, but appreciate him. I want to uh, shout out my grandfather. Shout out my aunt, Malika Moses. Let's make it happen. And yeah, that's it for everybody. For me. Let's get it, man. Yeah, Thank you again, you. brother. Appreciate you for having me. Hell yeah, hell yeah. For sure. Uh, uh June. Oh, your next fight? Yeah, June. 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 And, uh, Summer Festival at uh, Junior Olympics. Okay, and then for us local guys here in Houston, when's the uh, next one here? In- May, May 26th or May 27th. Yeah, one of them. Let's go. Already, man. Appreciate you. Thank you. For sure, for sure. And then I uh, just want to thank everyone else for tuning in to another great episode of the Jetted Out Podcast. Y'all be sure to hit the subscribe for more and stay tuned for the next. Go Peace. Look, I gave it everything I had, dog. Home my dad, dog. I'ma snatch a bag, dog. Ripped up a tune with a squad and a flag, dog. Hanging with the trapper, still chopping down a tan wall. I'm known in the city for my hard work. Look at me, I can show you how I crown work. From my wrist to my watch, finally drown first. For whatever stop, you'll be in the ground first. Huh? If you don't want it, then get back in line. I don't know how you do dope, but I pack it.